Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nimer here with some more Die Stripes Ambitions. We are playing Nomads on Very Hard, that means we're gonna do the Expert Ambition here. We are doing a Voyage Ambition, it will be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, right, so this is the third episode. If you wanna watch the first and second episode of Nomads on Very Hard here, you can check out the playlist in the comments or description below, which points to the first episode. Uh, all the videos of this game, of my channel, are all in one big playlist, so you can scroll up and check the other stuff I did as well. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's go. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, let's go. Right, uh, okay, I guess we did the last turn last time, the 21, but I did not end the turn, and uh, I think, yeah, I think we have everything set up. Mm. Usually I end the turn before I finish the video, so <laughs> this got me really, really confused super hard here, but we can get back in the game real fast here. Right, Flood. Uh, place you can clear one slow, okay, so if I remember correctly, Water prevents new buildings or locations from being added and clears after three turns. Okay. Well, not being able to add locations, it is a little bit tricky since we are relying on Forger Hut a lot to grab our food. However, however, we are really good with food right now, but I'll probably just clear it so I don't have to worry about it too much. Right, build a ship. Ship is going to require a lot of resources. Build a ship to explore the sea. There are also key components that should be upgraded to make the journey easier. Increase the amount of food and wood that you can bring out to the sea. Increase the maximum speed of the ship. Provide free dice that can be used to navigate the sea. Crow's nest. Provide a way to survey the surrounding areas. Others, you can also build up to four tool components and two food buildings. Each component provides different benefits while at sea. The components available to be built also change every turn. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see, how about that drainage? We don't actually have en anything right now. <laughs> we don't have any trees. Uh, okay, okay. I. Uh, okay, we can grab this. Mm, okay, we got the trader here. Mm. I feel like I don't need any more science, right? So trading science fine. I don't know if I actually want to grab the food forager. I almost feel like I don't because we have plenty of food. So yeah. What I do want is trade food for some other stuff actually. Also trading science for wood might be all right idea. So some sixes here to trade science for wood. You can also trade stones for science, trade stones for wood. Yeah, I don't know. We are more or, more or less about the same amount of wood and stones here, so we probably don't need to do anything there. Okay. Uh, I'll reduce one of these by one, put it there. I will increase this thing by one. Well, I actually want to max that one out. First world problems, not enough trees. <laughs> uh, I'll trade science for wood once here. There we go. And we can grab some wood here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll max this thing out and send it into forest. Good, they're gonna send the doggies to harvest stuff like we usually do. Okay, we'll have plenty of wood. We have plenty of wood, so we probably don't need to worry about that. Okay some more wood here as well okay do we max out the forager send it into savanna or maybe even grasslands we can also max out the forager and send it to grab some food here that's also pretty good not sure if we want to explore this um hmm. do we keep farming i feel like i feel like farming is done i feel like farming is done I'll keep one farmer around and the other one we can train into a something. I also want to start building the ship. Okay, what do we do with these fives though? What do fives trade into? Stone into science. Four stones into six science. That's not too bad. Ah, no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Yeah, I have this problem right now. Oh wait, we should definitely harvest that and set up a new one. Okay, let's build a ship. 
Oh, we need two fours. Okay, we do have two fours, though. There we go. Uh, a six. What's next round? Illness. Okay. Six, six, six. I could send it to Savannah for some stones. We used up all the dogs, though, so... Hmm? Mm. We want to send an uh, explorer there. Okay, trait. Science into wood. You know what? That's a good trait, I think. I don't know. Let's grab that thing. Okay. Let's send the dogs there, I guess. And this five. And this five is a bit weird one. Can't do anything smart with it. Mm. I guess I can grab food forager. Is that really a good idea? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Let's grab it. Because... I feel like I have enough of everything else as well. Plus, there's a limit on how much you can bring with you on the ship, so... There we go, ship storage plus. Increase the storage capacity of the ship. This increases the amount of resources you can bring to the voyage. Each level increases food capacity by 10 and food capacity by 5. Each level of storage also allows you to store one dice in the storage. Max 4. Okay, so 40 food and 20 wood. Okay. Navigation increases the number of free navigation dice you get in return. You get one free dice by default, and each level of navigation provides one additional free dice. That's really good. Binoculars. Equip the ship with binoculars. Binoculars allow you to change the dice face of any dice to six once per turn. Now, that's kind of good. We had it last time. It's, in, it's nice to be able to get sixes. I don't think you have the village anymore, right? Fishing net. No. Equip the ship with a fishing net that provides a chance to gain food. What's the chance? See, that's the problem. I don't like chance-based things. Alright, we need to solve that. We need to solve that. We need to solve that. Okay, that's more or less solved. Uh, okay. I mean, are we even gonna need beehives? Or are we just like... Stockpiling food here? There. Ooh, a four, dude. Okay. Grab these. That's nice. Grab... I don't know, some science. Right, we need a three. Okay, we can reduce this by one and get the three. Good, that's solved. Well, we can curse another die. Now, that's interesting. I think I'm done with farmers. Build a ship, set off to sea. Set off to the sea to find a new land. Right, well, we already saw that one. So the plan for this episode is like to get ready to set off and then we're gonna set off probably and then the next episode we continue from there. Well, I definitely want to build a storage and navigation here. Not sure about fishing net and not sure about binoculars. Binoculars are to change the dice face of any dice to six. I mean, it's probably very good. Okay, grabbing this wood would also be pretty nice. Let's grab it. And if we want, we can grab the binoculars. I remember six, six you can split into three and three and then use it for sailing and stuff. Yeah, it seems like pretty good. Let's grab it. There we go. And this thing. Let's grab that. Okay, cool. Good. Uh, coffee. Stock up on coffee beans. Coffee allows you to set any dice to the minimum maximum value once per turn each. Okay. Being able to set the minimum dice. I also remember there was like a captain dice and like... Well, minimum value is like also probably good. I like we have the way to set it to six now. Also, minimum maximum. Oh, that's pretty good. 
because we'll be able to get five from builders, we'll be able to get fours from farmers, we'll be able to get twos from farmers, and we can get threes by... Okay, I'm gonna grab the coffee here, I think it's really good. Okay, let's go some more forest, right? Yeah. I also wanna do this at some point. Maybe even not, actually. Okay. Okay, doggies army, let's go. Okay, we need a three. Okay, we need some fives. Okay, five there. Five there, that's good. Uh, right, mushrooms. Equip the ship with a small mushroom farm that converts wood to food. Okay, so we put a five in and we get a five food. Since we have 15 people, that slows down the food decay by five per turn. I think that's pretty good. We had this one last time. I think it was solid. You can also find some food around the place in various, like... Is this one, like, the best one, though? That's what I'm wondering. We'll probably not be able to use fives for much else, though, right? Okay, let's grab the mushrooms here. Okay. Coffee seems good, though. Okay, we need a tree here. I'm gonna put it there. We actually need another tree. Oh, dude. Okay, look, can I go in there? Uh, let's get another tree here. In there. That's good. Let's get a max forager here. Oh, wait. Hmm. I just realized. Not much I can do about it right now, though. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter, we have plenty of food. Okay, a couple more dogs. Yeah, I guess. Grab those. Former, I'm just gonna send it in there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we should grab the trappings, the traps. First aid, equip the ship with a first aid kit. First aid kit allows you to change the dice base of any dice to five once per turn. I mean, sure. So we have room for two more, for two more tools. I mean, first aid kit's not like the best, best ever, right? Do we need fives? We can get fives from builders if we like get maximum die out of it. Orange trees. Add orange trees to the ship, which provides some food per turn. Orange trees also prevent scurvy. Oh, that's good, I think. But that's it then. We get nine food per turn, and then we need to, like, get six by by fishing and stuff, right? Hmm. Did we manage to stabilize last turn, last time? I don't really remember. Like, I felt like I was able to explore a lot. I mean, being able to, like, prevent scurvy seems like a good thing. Capacity, ooh, we have a lot of food capacity also. Um, I mean, is it kind of boring that we <laughs> go with the exactly same two buildings again? We're gonna have less dice available. Last time we didn't play on, on very hard, so we didn't have ghosts. So being able to have like passive income is probably good. I would like to see what else is there though. So I can probably delay takeoff a little bit to see what else can we get. I don't know, first aid, I'm like so-so. Yeah, let's wait on that a little bit. Okay, let's see, we're gonna need to prolong the life here. So let's start with that. Um, Okay, and I need to max out this one. Not like super necessarily, but... There. I almost feel like... Wait, I explored the wrong thing. Um, okay. I mean, I can leave the location, I guess. Grab the food and leave. Um... 
Hmm. So here's the thing, like, I'm not doing like super amazingly well with food and stuff. Okay, let's get this one to three. Let's get, I mean, we can do this next round. Oh, we also have that is approaching. The game's not gonna let me play forever here, that's for sure. Uh, I mean, that's good. Yeah, we have plenty of extra food here. Thing is, we need to have like extra food because we're gonna bring that with us, so. I mean, I could probably maximize one of these as well. There we go. Yeah, this is a little bit sketchy. That's fine, actually. Okay, what to do with these? And no, I want to like open a new location as well. So the dogs can do something useful in there. Yeah, I'm like, this was a mistake, I think. We don't do anything? No, no, let's do something. Sailing, yeah. Uh, okay, dogs, grab that, leave that location. There, there, I guess we'd send these here. That's a little bit lame, but okay. We also have the workshop. We could build that. It's gonna, it would be easier to, well, yes and no, actually. I have two turns to get rid of the that is approaching thing. Okay, there we go. A doctor of six, interesting fishing net. Again, the fishing net. Yeah, I'm too worried this will not be reliable enough. This is like cycle around hammers. Hammers allow it to increase decrease the dice value of any dice by one, once per turn each. That's pretty nice actually. I'll grab that. Observation. Oh. What? Okay, there's also that. So these two cycle between three different things and still didn't grab this. No matter, no wonder I'm lacking food since I'm not doing that. Okay, I definitely want to max this out. Uh, go to forest, not mess, gonna mess it up this time. Grab a whole bunch more wood here, some science, some more wood, good. Uh, like, yeah, it's a little bit lame, but okay. Uh, this is a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, this is very unlikely what just happened, okay. There, there, there. Okay, almost solved the death is approaching thing. We also have the flood. Yeah, I would like to take care of the flood, but you know, <laughs> sometimes it be a little bit complicated. I prioritize some other things this time, I guess. Um, let's do this. Okay. Right, shipbuilding. Gonna max it out. So if I can solve this, I definitely will. Let's see, I got this thing, this thing. Okay, I can. The question is, if I do this, do I have any, enough for everything else? Okay, I feel like I do. If we increase this by one, and if I decrease this by one, then we can solve it. There we go. The next round, we get the illness. Okay. Right, brewery. Brewery allows you to reroll any dice twice per turn. Fishing net. Okay, another fishing net. I don't want the fishing net, dude. Okay. Oh, we put the scout in there. Oh, that's not very nice. There we go. Forest, good. Doggies, let's go. Okay, you can go there, you can go there, you can go there. Wonderful. We have a tree here. That's a little bit of a problem, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
like we're just not doing this well no wonder we had to put all of threes and fives in here so it's hard it's hard <laughs> uh i feel like two forgers might not be optimal anymore maybe grab another builder I also still have two farmers, right? Yeah. I think builders are pretty good for the ship, especially if they're gonna be a lot of obstacles. Okay, well, Bruber seems interesting. I don't know. I hope the, the dice cannot re roll into what it already is, right? Yeah, let's grab that. Okay, now you, my friend, guess we go there. I solved all the problems this round, so we're pretty good. Food, food, food. Okay, this is a little bit annoying, but it's not really that big of a problem. What do we do with this too? I don't know. Okay, be that way. Yeah, we need to harvest the trapper's hut. Okay, this will be much easier turn than the last one, so we're gonna have some chance to do that. Besides, we have like a million food here and a lot of food there. It's not like it's going badly or anything, but... Okay. Hammers. Increase the crease the dice divided by one. That's also pretty good. Diving vessel. Equip the ship with a small diving vessel, which allows you to hunt deep sea fishes for food. So this is like hunting, which I don't like. It's still food though. But if it's 50-50, I don't want it. And it's probably 50-50. What else would it be? Mm, maybe. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like you have to get a maximum roll or a minimum roll. Diving vessel. I wonder if you can see this here. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know where I would find that. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. So we can see here the ambition buildings. Yeah, but we can't see all the things, so... Maybe there is something there, but I'm not gonna look for it right now. I mean, I guess I could go with it. Will hammers be my last tool? I guess I could. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's see what the heck that is. Um, hammer seems pretty good. Decrease the die. Hammer's allowed to increase the crease the dice value of any dice by one once per turn each. That's pretty nice and nifty. Okay. Drop that. Okay. Let's not forget about these. There we go. Alright, uh, some more food and stuff. There we go. Dogs. Doggies, let's go. Mm. Increase this by one, grab the four there. It's pretty good. Anything else I wanna do? I know I don't I think we're we're fine here. Uh right. I mean not much else we can do with the dogs. So we put a six in here. Oh, dude, that's like crazy. But what can you do? Okay. Right. Let's max out the ship and then set sail. Navigation. Yeah, we chose all the buildings and stuff. So there's no more choices there. So now we just play it out. Well, we make sure that we sail out with the maximum amount of stuff, though. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. And there. Uh, I need a plus one here. That's fine. Oh, this sucks a little bit. Yeah, look at this. If I mean, I'm mostly fine, but still. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Get the apiculture. I don't even want that. Well, not really. I mean... I can do this and pick that up, I guess. I can pick up both of these. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, that's solved. Forager 246. Okay, this is an ideal forager tile, actually. There we go. Not that we need science or anything like that, but... But yeah, we need to, like, max out the ship now before we set sail. We chose what we chose. I hope diving's not too bad. Otherwise, I'm gonna sweat a lot. Right. Okay, prolong the life. Another drainage. Oh, that doesn't definitely does not speed things up. Oh, there's another curse. I'm gonna curse the die. Okay, we still have two farmers. I only want one, really. Uh, right. Oh. Ready to harvest. Okay. Oh, one of them needs to be prepared. Okay, let's max this thing out. Go into the forest again. Use the dogs. Okay, I was worried I will not have enough wood. Well, boy, was I worried for nothing. Okay. Okay, one more there. One there. One there. Max this thing out. We are not grabbing stones with me anyway, right? Okay. Max three. Okay, prolong life and now we have the that is approaching as well. Yeah, we need to invest heavily into that. Okay, we need to prepare. Although we're pretty good with food. Okay, we can still increase the storage, so we'll be able to bring like 80 food with us. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, we finally get a six. Good. Dog, dog, dog. Okay, that's fine. Dog. I don't know. Dog. A tree. Actually, I have lots of fives. That's pretty nice. Okay. Okay, I've prepared these. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I think this is one is last level, so I should, like, do this, I think. I mean, I can do all of them, I guess. What do we have next round? We have that touch, right? Oof. there even even okay i can prepare one and okay yeah i can prepare both actually okay good okay what do we do with the tree not much grab some food i guess i mean i can max you know what let's maximize it we are running out of stone that's not good That's definitely not good. Okay. We need to go here. Oh, ship's done. Okay. <laughs> so we can bail if you want to. Uh, okay, let's see. We can grab 70 food with us, 25 wood. We have both. Okay, well, now we are sat there. Okay, good. I will... Mm. Yeah, let's solve this as much as we can, just in case. Max. There. Go to the forest. Grab stuff. Okay. We don't have a six, but it's probably not a problem, right? 
Okay. I mean, we need to grab food. Oh, wait. Oh, we can get stones here with a two. Okay, that's pretty good. Science into stones. Okay, now I don't have to worry anymore. There. We can max here. Grab a whole bunch of food. There we go. Like, with how much food will we get there? Uh, probably not. Yeah, I probably need to go like... 81 at least, I think. Since we can carry 70, right? So if you max this thing out and grab some there. There we go. Now we kind of have enough. Oh, we can harvest here. Hello. But like, I need to maximize this thing so we can set off. There we go. I can reduce this by one and grab that as well. But that's it. We are setting sail here. We're gonna have full cargo hold we're gonna have two farmers i guess but we can retrain the farmers into sailors or whatever right ship time we have to find the full find the new world we're gonna do that in next episode don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and the channel though really important so here's the ship voyage it's something pretty unique one of the most amazing things probably in this game so yeah, come back in two days or so to check if there's gonna be... Let's check this thing though. Ah, okay. Okay. So you use the fisherman for that, okay. Well, it's 50% to succeed, 33%. Okay. I think we can manage that. Sadly enough, Sadly enough, we started with only 55 food because we ate 15 food right away. So first we set sail, then we ate. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, read map. Read to reveal. Okay, preserve food. Ish. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode for the continuation here. It should be fine, I think. <laughs> uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, do not forget to like, check out some of my other stuff. Subscribe if you have, find it worthwhile. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Be cool and nice to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. The Nimer signing out. Bye-bye.